Okay, so let's uh, finish off the week. Let's go and uh, study at the long shade. Study at the Volisium. And I think we might rest because... Oh. What does this do? Okay, I may just put that there for now. Because apparently it ups my concealment. And that's a problem? I don't know why. Like, am I not allowed to have a big piece of wood? Actually, what what is that thing? Um, trial and error. Okay, apparently I need to be holding the stick to do trial and error. So put that there. Don't think I need that book anymore because my running is high. Yeah, my running is six for now. That's not bad. So put that there. Make sure it shows up here. So we're going to learn what a big piece of wood does. I'm going to guess it's a big piece of wood and doesn't do anything, but hey, you never know. So this is long shade. So... Let's just keep focusing on dialectic, I guess. And dialectic for the study, and we'll play with our big piece of wood. Let's see what your tasks are for the day. Go to class, finish off essay, avoid bullies on the way to class, do laundry, and plant trap for bullying class. You sigh and continue your walk down the uh, brightly lit but seemingly empty hallway back to your dorm. You pass the door and did a double take as you notice a sign on the door. Hey dummy, open me. Say what? Leave the door alone or pure luck? Why not? What do you think pure luck would be under? Patrol? There's a chance I don't have pure luck. School survival. Really? Ah, eh, screw it. Pure luck, why not? <laughs> you open the door and fall down hard on your backside as the cream pie flies over your head. Laughter comes out of the room and... Carillo allows O.C. Trilly uh, helps you off your uh, sore backside. He hands you 25 pims and explains that he made a bet with a senior that at least three people will open the door. Since you were lucky number three, you earned a quarter of the winnings. Of course, you feel like thumping uh, Krilly on the head with a sack uh, full of coins just to get rid of the stinging pain in your backside. <laughs> you know what? That wasn't too bad. <laughs> You know, I think he was one of my friends in the last game. He's a gambler, I believe. Yeah. He has a very interesting uh, adventure. I don't think we'll do it in this playthrough. But um, pretty much you find a place to turn into like a gambling hall to make some money. Sounds illegal now that I think about it, but it was fine. I mean, we did alter some of the stuff so the house always wins but that, that's fine god damn we did something very illegal i think i joined a secret cult because of that as well <laughs> this is a very interesting adventure uh oh my politics went up <laughs> and because i learned about politics i've learned about anger <laughs> i don't know why people get so angry about politics like, uh, or people mentioning politics, I should say. Like, that's such a weird thing. It, it's part of everyday life. I understand you want to escape from, you know, everyday life, but... 
sometimes you need to talk about politics, especially nowadays. What's my concentration at now in spell? Actually, it tells me here at three. Okay, that's probably a very useful skill. Oh, we learned about the big piece of wood. A uh, durable one. It might have once uh, been a chair. Or maybe a bit of a boat. There's a remote chance you would pummel someone with it. <laughs> Pludgeon with a big piece of wood. Oh, that's a nice ability. What the fuck? It's really, really hard to swing this plank, but if you manage it by succeeding a strength plus tactics roll versus a nine, you're uh, and you're close to enough to your target, you'll do two points of damage and probably leave splinters in very unpleasant places. What the fuck? What are you doing, Prudence? Prudence, maybe music isn't for you. This is like the third time you did not succeed at using practice magic. Excel. You gain extra credit in the class of your choice. Huh, interesting. I think they get their own abilities. We don't share abilities, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, so this is the start of a new week. You know what? We almost have dialectic to uh, four points. Why don't we just do one more day? Get that out of the way. And... We'll call it there. And if something happens, something happens. If something doesn't happen, that's fine as well. Where the hell is dialectic? There we go. So we want famous dilemmas. The Lycian Mountains are beautiful this time of year, yet despite the breathtaking view of the Catamagia, they provide you... Uh, they provide... You decide to veer off the trail and explore a large cave. The mouth of the cave is wide, but after venturing further inside, it narrows considerably. After a few hundred meters, the cave drops. It's not a big drop, but you still have to proceed with caution as you climb down the rock wall. All the while, you can hear water dripping. With your torch flickering, you continue your exploration, but at a more cautious pace than before, after a few steps, you notice the sound of water dripping has turned into the sound of water trickling. You stop and listen. You can't see the water, only hear it. Within seconds, the trickle turns into a gush. The cave is rapidly filling up with water. Okay, let's try observation. Find the water source. <laughs> you cast the lantern of many hues and illuminate the dark cave. A bat swoops down and a rat scurries for high ground. Otherwise, the cave is just a normal cave. Then just before your magical lantern burns out, you see water flowing out of a smooth round hole into the far back corner of the cave. You immediately realize you stumbled onto an oscillating underground river. You've heard of these rare geological features in class, but never thought you'd see you ever see one. While they can be violent and dangerous, they always flow from inside a mountain to the outside, meaning if you can stick with the current, you'll eventually be carried to an exit. Go with the flow, then? That seems... I... May gives us a better chance to not get hurt. You're so startled by the sun torrent of water, you, can, you can't you can think. As the water rises, you start swimming with the current. Before long, you're floating down the underground river. Soon, floating becomes bouncing as you ricochet against the sides of the ca cave. Your body is jostled and jarred so much you feel like a rag doll. Finally, you reach the dry ground outside the cave, thoroughly bruised, cold, and wet. That one well. Hmm. Okay, so we brought that up. So dialectic is now four and four. That's really good. Famous dilemmas. Liar. Emphrith the Alesfa 
says all the Lesphians are liars. How can all the Lesphians be liars if this statement is true? If the statement is false, isn't Ephrates a liar? Can someone, uh, some Alpha Scenes be liars? This creates a circular logic that can never be pinned down to truth. Okay. Or I can just not think about it and go about my life. I think I'm going to go with that, that option. And I increased my move silently skill. So that's nice. Found a book about how to just creep along. You have learned about the magistrate's crime report at the Piccola Observer. The nighttime god has reported no strange activity, but only when workers came in during the morning was it realized that several important items were missing from the printer. Nothing incredibly valuable was taken, simply a noticeable amount of paper and ink. This magistrate does not see a potential for serial burglary. It was probably just a frugal writer in need of work material. You temporarily increased your revision spells. I don't know why that happened, but okay. You... Oh! Oh, the observation probably gave me a bonus to revision spells. I was... Oh. It was red, though. <laughs> I, I didn't get that at all. My bad. Uh, you decrease your vitality by two. You increase your endurance uh, skill step by one. You have learned about the falls. You have uh, gained stand and be pressed. So I guess this is something I'm going to do at the falls. Increase stress maximum. Increase composer. Decrease gossip. And explore the sunken palace, which expands swimming and archaeology, which might be useful. And Prudence hasn't done anything interesting. So how bad are we now? Okay, I said that was going to be our last day, but I lied. We're going to rest today because just in case I don't remember that my vitality is quite low. So. Yep, a 10 class, 10 class, and rest. Ah, very simple day. See? Uh, Vernon College has impressed uh, the gate. Has wore them special privileges. They're special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone else seems to be studying. Actually, Malacresta tried to cast a spell called Wizard's Aid, which, uh, with a bunch of themes. Interesting. Hmm. A two-point bonus to every spell that follows for the next four days. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, we're going to call it there. Uh, so I need to look into the rest of that adventure, make sure I can get um, the skills we need. I'm also going to look into uh, Prudence's uh, adventure to see what skills we need for that, though that might happen after... Uh, after the next big holiday. And I think I'm going to look into finding someone else to join our clique. Maybe I'll find like three people that might be useful. And then see if they're a part of any other cliques. Which there seems to be a lot of other cliques. So yeah. We're going to call it there. Uh, thank you for watching. And yeah. I can't wait to play some more of this. Also, let me know if there's a... If you guys prefer, you know, the layout being different in any ways. Or if you find a way that's more useful than the default layout. But right now, I think the default layout is kind of... It's fine. It works. It does its job. I can maybe... Pull this up a bit like that and then make this a little larger. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think. 
See you next time.